Hi everyone, today's video is going to be a homeware haul and there's quite a lot of stuff here for me to show you so I'm going to power through it. I have been buying for the house like a mad woman recently. A lot of this stuff is stuff that's built up since Christmas um, but it's also quite relevant. I've got stuff from Dunelm, HomeSense, Ikea, lots of different bits and pieces and basically we moved into this house almost two years ago and I think it was. No, we've been, we were, uh no, we've been here a year, a year in January. So when we moved in, a lot of you will know from like my vlogs and previous videos that we did a lot of work on this house. We extended and knocked walls down, built walls, um, changed the layout and did a lot of stuff to it. Then we got it to a point where we could move in, but a lot of it was unfinished. So it's only recently because life gets in the way and we just didn't do anything for months on end. Um, we started painting where it needs painting and redoing things like some of the floors downstairs um, and just kind of like revamping it and putting our own stamp on it. When we moved in, we bought all of our old furniture with us, obviously, and all of our old like, cushions and little bits and pieces but I wanted to I feel like I'm a different person to when I bought all of that stuff and I wanted that to reflect in the house and the space that we've got now so I'm gonna literally just do it in the most random order ever because everything's just piled up next to me and that's the best way that I can think of doing it. I'm going to start with some stuff that's here next to me from Ikea. So the first thing is a little flamingo glass and this is from Ikea. They're 50p and I bought two and I want to go back for more because they're like the perfect size if you just want a small drink and I just think they're very very cute and adorable. So for 50p not bad at all. Also from Ikea I bought a new dinner set. Now I'm only going to show you a bowl and one of the small side plates because the other, the bigger plates are all in the dishwasher, but you, you get the general idea. Now, this is what the bowl looks like. They're a very, very pale blue, almost white, but they are blue. Um, and they also come in a color similar to this cushion behind me too, if you wanted something a little bit different. Um, what I love about these is that they're almost unfinished. I don't know if you can tell, but the edges aren't quite round and they remind me so much of what you would buy in anthropology or more of a high-end store, whereas these were like £1.50. If that, they've got this really nice detailing around the edge in here. This is the same design in the side plate and it comes with a little imprint in the middle here. They're just really, really different and as soon as I saw them, I knew that we had to have them. And then the last couple of things from Ikea are called the Soccer. And these are kind of like vases, planters, I don't really know what you'd call them, but this is what they look like. They had them in this colour and also a sage green. And you get two in here, so you get a thinner, taller one and a fatter, stubbier one. And they come with little handles. They remind me of like the old style, like milk, um, you know what they used to have on farms to kind of churn the milk or carry the milk around. I don't, I don't know if I'm on the wrong train of thought there, but I really like these. I'm gonna use the taller one for flowers, I think, um, and then maybe just this bottom one for display. I couldn't leave them there and I really like them. They were only about eight pounds, I think, for both of them. I'm gonna do cushions next because there's no particular order, but I've got a few to share with you. So the first couple I'm gonna talk about are behind me here. We've got this first one, which is kind of like a shag pile rug, but in the style of a cushion. And this is a gorgeous pink color. And then this square blue one here, which is more velvet, they're both from Dunelm. And I have been incorporating pinks and blues into our bedroom for quite a while. Um, I've got little pink accessories and then the curtains have got bits of blue in them. So I thought they were like the perfect accessory to go on the bed. Now we have had a new floor put down in the front and back room downstairs. So it's kind of like a three room. So it's not really a front and back, it's just one big room. Um, and when we moved in, we bought a sofa, a really, really cheap one from DFS, and Tinks has since ruined it. She's shredded holes in the whole thing when she was going through a puppy stage and she wasn't being watched. And it pains me that we're gonna have to get rid of it, but we're gonna get, have to get rid of it because we have inquired how much it is to get it like recovered. Um, and it to get it recovered would cost more than the sofa cost in the first place. So I found another one. I know what colour theme and kind of like designs and textures I want in that room. And I want to incorporate kind of like blues and pinks in there as well. Maybe like a more of a greeny blue. Um, I saw this cushion in Sainsbury's and didn't buy it when I first saw it, 
but went back to get it the other day with Tommy. Um, it's got circles that are kind of halved with different colours in and it's got basically every single colour that I want to incorporate downstairs. I want to bring in a little bit of yellow and mustard too and the back of it is just a plain pink so you could have it both ways if you wanted to. I just thought this was really different and quite on trend at the moment and this one was £12 I think. I think it was £12, there's no price on it. They've just introduced a new home range in there and so much of it is amazing. So I got that one. And then another question from Sainsbury's, this has little birds on it and it's like this on one side. Now we live obviously in Blackpool, so we do live in a seaside town and I like to incorporate a little bit of that in the house and I love that kind of theme anyway. So the bathrooms are all kind of like seasidey and beachy. So um, I, I just really liked this anyway as like a standalone. It'll go with how I want the room to look and I love the little birds. And then on the back, again, it's reversible and it's this kind of like black and white striped, off white striped. So again, you could kind of like have it both ways and I thought this was a really nice little addition too and I'm pretty sure that was the same price as the other one. So this week's vlog you'll see me and Tommy going to one of the garden centres by us and we bought quite a few little bits and pieces. Um, some of the stuff I bought for our back lounge which I'm gonna when it's finished hopefully do a room tour so I'm not including anything that I've bought specifically that for that room in this video because it'll just be me telling you it twice. I'm gonna save it and like link everything down below in that video. But some things that are not for that back room and are actually gonna go in our bedroom are these little plants. So I got this cactus and I quite like that the pot doesn't quite fit in the other pot that I chose it to go in. I like that it kind of sits up a little bit and um, the contrast of the two colors. So this is kind of like a gunmetal gray ribbed pot and then just has a little round cactus in. So I got that one and this is going to go on. We've got a chest of drawers in our room with a mirror on and my perfumes and I'm going to put that on there. And then to go behind that one, I also chose this one and this came in this pot. I love it. I just think it's something really different. I'm really into having house plants now um it's something that i never really did i always had an orchid but never really had anything else got another item to show you from donnell mill and then surprise surprise everything else is from home sense so this was 9.99 and it is a seriously soft blanket that's what it says on the label um we have a couple of these already um one of them is like a very light green color you've, you'll have seen it in my vlogs and um i just wanted to replace it basically that's got quite gross now even after washing it so many times um and i wanted this to go in the new kind of like styled living room because i don't think that you can beat having a cozy blanket if you want a cozy blanket and it's all well and good having these really nice pretty ones but you can't use them so um i got this one and it's really soft and really snuggly next i have a ginormous cushion this was 16.99 and this was from home sense and i just love the simplicity of this it is massive i don't think i'm going to be able to show you the entire thing is this big gray can you see how big it is oh, big gray cushion so it's got the white stitching down the side and then it's like a really like nicely textured front to it and the back of it is a dark, a bit of a darker gray and it's more like a velvet suede and um, this is a proper slouchy like got a lot of movement to it cushion that's going to be incredibly comfy and I can't wait to put this on the sofa downstairs when the floor's finished because at the moment I'm not putting any of this stuff in any of the rooms because they're all being done up so it just seems a little bit pointless but obviously it can't stop me from buying the stuff. I told a lie I do have one more thing from Dunelm and this was I think about eight pounds and it's a little teapot a little enamel teapot so I am a massive fan of enamel. I've got a lot of enamel pans anyway. Then I found this one in Dunelm and I just think it's really, really cute. And it's got this little duck egg blue thing around the top, which you all know I love that color. And I don't know, I really like it. So I'm excited to use this. Everything else is from Home Sense. So I've got this pot and this was, oh, you're gonna tell me how much you were? $12.99 and this is what it looks like. Now it was from the garden section but I think I'm going to put it inside. Now it is one of those items that when we've got Charlie our nephew or if ever our friends brought their children around we would have to move this because it is a solid solid stoneware pot. Um, but I love it. I love how it's kind of weathered. I love the colours. I love the print. I love this so much. Um, so much so that I don't think I can put it outside because it won't get seen as much as it would 
if it was inside and it goes with the colours and things that I want to put in the downstairs room so kind of makes sense. This next item is a little random and I've actually left the pestle or the mortar, I don't know which way it goes, I think the pestle is the thing I've left downstairs, um, but we don't really use that. We've got it in the drawer if we ever needed a pestle and mortar. Um, I'm thinking about baking Easter brownies where I've seen a recipe where you use like mini eggs and cream eggs and it's kind of like an insane um, extravaganza of Easter eggs um, and I might need to use it for that but I bought it for the purpose of having salt in it by the cooker so this is what it looks like it's a stone a grey stone and then it's got little ridges around the bottom now I really wanted a pinch pot for a long time like a salt pinch pot and just could never find one that I really liked I had I wanted one that looked like this now I realize this is a massive pinch pot there's a lot of salt in here but I really like the way that it looks. I love pink sea salt. I just think the taste of it is so much sharper than normal salt. And I love cooking with it. And I love the contrast of the pink and the gray. So that was a winner. I can't tell you how much that was because if I tipped it upside down, because I probably have left the price on the bottom of it, I'm obviously gonna tip all the salt out. The next few bits are baking trays and this is 5 dollars and this is a baking sheet apparently and it's rose gold. So I obviously just put it in my basket, didn't I? This one was 7 dollars and this is a baking pan and this is by the Great British Bake Off and it's blue on the outside, like a lilac-y lilac -y blue, and then the inner is cream, just something really handy to have, and because I've thrown all the other ones away, we needed some new ones. And then this one was 4 dollars and this is probably my favourite one out of them all. This is rose gold, but it's a pizza tray. So we had one of these in grey, but again, it needed replacing. Thomas is forever cooking pizzas in the oven, just couldn't resist this, basically. Um, it's rose gold and it's pizza. It's perfect. Just a couple of things left and first of all I have tea towels. So the first set are these ones by Sousa Diaz, um, a Portuguese brand and these were £6 for two. So on this side you get the um, like the harder tea towel that you would use to dry pots and then it's got this really nice design strip at the bottom and then the other size the other side is a hand towel and then I also got two more hand towels these ones are probably going to go in the bathrooms as hand towels and these are just a really light pink with white on them so this one's got quite a lot of print going on and then tassely edges and then this one is just kind of like a um, diamond spot shape pattern and then just normal edges so I thought they were really pretty and then last but not least this is by the brand Hotel 21 from HomeSense this was 9 99 this is a bath mat and this is possibly the biggest bath mat that I've ever seen in my entire life this is 50 centimeters by 80 centimeters and it's ginormous it could be a rug definitely could get away with this as a rug what I like about it is that at each end it's a little bit different to the main body of the mat um it's got really nice texture, grey and white, which fits perfectly with our bathrooms because they're the colours of them. The same as what it was with the baking trays, I have had the same kind of revamp with bath mats recently, which is very exciting. Um, but that's everything that I've got to show you today. Wish me luck in putting all this back in a safe place before we can get any of it out. I am feeling a lot more confident now in kind of um, decorating the house and putting my own stamp on it. I always have done. My tastes have always been quite fickle and I love something one week and then the next week I'll hate it whereas now I feel like I'm dressing and decorating the house in a way that will last and I'm really proud of and I just slowly but surely we're getting there and it makes such a massive difference to your mood as well I think if the space that you spend the most time in and obviously I, I work from home so I'm always here and um, it makes such a difference if you're happy and you want to spend time there. Now in the middle of haul week I have two videos left one of them is going to be a collective clothing haul and one of them is going to be another Primark haul. Please subscribe if you haven't already I'm so close to 5,000 subscribers and I just feel like I've been waiting to hit that mark for a really long time and I know I haven't been uploaded uploading properly the last few weeks because of everything that's been going on but um yeah I'm back and I'm more motivated than ever so it would mean the world and I want to thank you all for watching today I will see you very soon bye